Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Bell. My name is Kelly. I'm here at Overland Expo West 2022 in Flagstaff, Arizona, where I'm gonna bring you the absolute newest, coolest stuff, everything to do Overland technology. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're here at the Zolio booth with Tyler. And Tyler, you guys have a new Garmin GPS type messaging system, correct? Type. It's not Garmin at all. Obviously not, right? not Garmin, but... But, we, but I like to compare it to Garmin because we both use the Iridium satellite network. So I like to compare that to you have an Android phone, I have an iPhone, but we're both on Verizon. Exactly. So your quality of service is the same. It's just a different piece of hardware. And a di di little different interface, right? Completely different interface. Okay, even better. Uh, so th we have the device itself comes with two on-device on functionalities. One, a simple check-in button. When I press that button, I've designated a message to go to my wife that says, hey honey, everything's okay, and here's where I am. It drops her a GPS pin. Whether she has any kind of app on her phone or not, it doesn't matter. It simply falls into her normal text chain. Okay. She clicks on the pin and it says, oh, he's in the St. Joe National Forest in Idaho. That's where he said he was going elk hunting. Great. Perfect. Uh, on-device also, we have an SOS button under a cover, by the way, so that you don't hit it on accident. Okay. Press and hold the device, the button for three seconds. Local emergency services will be lo directed right to your pin. Okay. We leave the device at that point and we move to our phone. We have a Zolio app, which is of course free. I'm gonna go ahead and close this out completely so it starts from fresh. It acquires the satellites. How long does this take? That took about four seconds. That was fast. That was really fast. Took about four seconds. It opens up right into my messaging. I can just simply click a new message. It has my entire phone book downloaded. So every contact I have, so if somebody has a, uh, a mobile number or an email address, or if you have their mobile number email address, you can send them a regular text message. It will fall right into either their email account or into their text chain like normal. They do not need our app. That's awesome, because I like, the one downfall with the Garmin InReach Mini, which is what I have, is you have to have everything put into the website beforehand, before you go, otherwise it doesn't, you can't send messages otherwise. So that's a perfect uh, function. It's a great functionality, because I can, if I'm, hunt, I don't live in Idaho anymore, but I still elk hunt there. So if I shoot a bull down in a canyon, I can text three buddies that I know live locally and say, hey, bring, help. Bring, your son, <laughs> bring your sons and bring we're, backboards. We're doing this. <laughs> and big bull down. And so we also have dark sky weather, Oh, so you don't have wow. to be in cell range. So if I'm down in a canyon and I see dark clouds to the west, I can say, uh-oh. I look it up. Oh, it's just a little squall. It's going to blow right by. Or they're predicting 27 inches of snow in 16 hours. I need to break camp and get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Uh, we also have the SOS functionality on our phone. Okay. The great news about this is once I, once I engage with SOS here, I now get to have a conversation with them. A dialogue box will pop up. They'll, they're going to send me a message saying, wow. what's going on? So it could be something as simple as, I broke up my leg, but I'm safe, I'm in camp, I'm warm, I have food, I have fire, I have shelter. Uh, so, so let me ask you this quick, quick question. For battery, is it rechargeable or does it have uh, like double A's? How does the battery work? It's a lithium ion rechargeable battery. Okay. 200 hours of battery life. So that's eight days. And that's eight days of constant on. Oh, wow, that's right? great. So if I get to camp at night, send a text message to my wife, hey babe, everything's cool, I'm checked in, I'm going down for the night. I'll turn my device on at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. She knows what's up. So I can actually extend it longer than that. Okay, I'm that's at, great. If I look at my device now, you can see this. I'm at 32%. I charged this Wednesday night. Oh, wow. That's that's a good battery life. I charged it Wednesday night. It's now Sunday Sunday afternoon. And I haven't put it on a charger since. That's great. And it's been in con I haven't turned the device off. It lives on my backpack, goes into my hotel room at night, lays on my backpack, comes back here. That's I've been excellent. using it all day, every day, doing demos. Of course, of course. So, so what kind of data plans we're we looking at with this device? A very basic data plan is twenty dollars a month. That's twenty-five satellite messages. You can make a big jump to two hundred and fifty messages for fifteen dollars more, thirty-five dollars a month, and then unlimited for fifty. So, if you have a teenager, fifty might the fifty-dollar plan might be okay. Right. <laughs> uh, Two other things I need to mention. One, our device comes with a dedicated, its own dedicated cell phone number. Oh, wow. So That's great. anybody that has that number can initiate a conversation with you, as opposed to some, some services require you, them to go into their website and message through that. Ours, my wife has this cell phone number under Tyler's Zolio device. So she knows if I'm in the backcountry by myself or with our kids, 
she just sends me a message, hey, wow. it's Sunday afternoon, you're still out there with the kids, they have school tomorrow, time to come home. Uh, that, honestly, that sounds just so much easier than what the Garmin is it, with the functionality and the messaging. Right, it is, it's a lot easier. Also, if somebody has the Zolio app and you're messaging back and forth in there, you're not character limited to a point, right? So a normal text message is about 140 characters. Mm -hmm. So that can start dinging up your, your if you have a limited plan. Right. But if they have a Zolio device, you can write 950 characters. Oh, wow. So that's like six regular messages, but all in one. Dear so you, diary. Right. You, you can't <laughs> write a book. It can get a little long-winded. That's great. That's great. We have two mounting devices. One is a cradle kit. It comes with a belt clip. It comes with a stud receiver. So if you've got whatever regular track system or stud system your rig has, it mounts onto that. Okay. Um, or it comes with a with a molly with a molly piece. Oh, excellent! Right, so you can run molly through it. And most importantly, it does come with a ram mount, which is what all the overlanders use. Absolutely. Another important piece to talk about yep. is we don't tie you into a year-long contract or a multi-year contract. I was actually just going to ask you yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> we have at, when you first initiate the product, we we ask a three-month commitment. Okay. At the end of three months, you can suspend your account for four dollars a month okay that's a maintenance fee and that way your device keeps its dedicated phone number yes if you cancel it there's a twenty dollar initiation fee to start back up again you can do the math on whether you're going to be have your device off long enough to make that twenty dollars worth it but then you will lose that dedicated number yeah and you'll get a new one so if your contacts have that number you have to make sure you go out and tell them all hey i turned my device off now i got a new number change it out you know what i'll be honest i could probably skimp on one coffee a month to Four. be able to keep my it doesn't need a phone number that all my friends will have. Right, that's where I'm at. Four bucks a month is yeah. pretty painless because that's what black coffee cost me this morning yeah, at is. Starbucks. <laughs> yep, so. excellent. All right, well, Tyler, what does this run? What is the, the total, you know, if you were to pick one out right now, what would it cost? Right now, our device retails at $200. Okay. So the consumer can figure out what the com our closest competitor runs, but I'm comfortable with my price there. Okay. Right now from today, which, what's today? The 22nd of May through the 31st of May, we're running a special for $150. Oh, excellent. So, REI.com, our own app, our own website, BassPro.com, Cabela's.com, any of the big guys. Excellent. And I'll have a link in the description below. Be sure to check that out for that discount. Perfect. Awesome. All right, Tyler, you have an amazing product. I'm super looking forward to giving this a shot, and I really appreciate your time. Thank you, man. Thank you very appreciate much. Appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm here at the Insti Connect booth with Nick. And Nick, you guys have a brand new technology for like a, not a, I can't say a competitor to WeBoost, but a similar technology, but better, correct? Right, right. All right, so let's hear it. A lot of people in the Overland community are using boosters. Yes. Uh, they've been out for a long time. We are similar to a booster, but a little bit different. So our device is actually a high-powered hotspot. Wow. So it takes its own line of service, but with that, you get 24-7 always on internet. So instead of trying to pull a signal over like a single antenna down inside, inside your rig, okay. we take our antenna and we put it outside so that we get the signal where the signal is the best. Oh, so we are right. brand new in that we have our cell modem. We actually put it up inside the, the antenna so that wherever you have a signal, even if it's a whisper of a signal, you'll be able to pick it up and start working with it. We designed these to be outside 24-7, awesome. 365, all types of climates, Arizona to the snow, all over the place. Excellent, that is so cool. Now, so this here is the antenna, yes. correct? And it's also this, the booster in itself. Yes, in a way. Okay. So I say we are a really good booster because we're not a booster, Okay. all right? So we have our cell modem inside the antenna. We're one of the only people that do that. Okay. okay. But because of that, you can actually take our antenna and put it up in the sky, right? So if you're ever in a spot that has a really weak signal, you can take it, put it, put it higher and higher. Right. And you have the cable that we provide, it's a data cable and it's not an antenna cable. Wow. So when you see a signal, we turn that signal into data right away. And so you can move that data through the cable without any loss. That's why when people hook these up and they put them outside, they're like, why is this two, three, four times faster? Like, because we do it differently. Because we take that little whisper of a signal right. and turn it into data right away. That's perfect because you have to change with technology. 5G coming out is changing how things are captured. Right. And it looks like you guys have a great setup. Now this is the 5G antenna and then you said this is a 4G antenna? Yes, yeah, so this was our very first one. 
right here, we have the modem that goes right up into the antenna. This was our first design. This is what really kind of hit the market and people were pretty pretty excited about right. it, right? But if you notice right here on our 4G model, we actually have two antennas that go out there. So when people are dealing like with boosters, they have one antenna out there. Yep. So the tower wants to give us multiple paths in order to give us more data. So this 4G has two antennas and our 5G actually has four antennas outside. So in order wow. for a booster to do something similar, you'd have to have four boosters on the outside of your rig. That is amazing technology. I've actually been looking at getting a I can't even say booster anymore, so it's its own, almost its own boosting, uh, what do you call it exactly? So it's not a booster, so what is it? I call it, when people come, I call it a high-powered hotspot. Okay. So because it has, I like its, own, that. Yeah, I like it has that. its own uh, line of service, Okay. so it's always on. So when we set these up on our rigs, we turn it on and it gives us Wi-Fi all the time. So That's when we're, great. we're in town, we got Wi-Fi. When we're way out there, it pulls in that signal, we got Wi-Fi, no matter what. We can hook all our devices, computers, tablets, all the stuff to it, and it's just always there. You don't have to pull out your phone, turn on your hotspot, or put it next to something, and whenever you get out of that circle, it goes away. It's just always there, and it's always on. That's amazing. All right, now, so what is the whole kit involved? So basically what you get, you get the outdoor antenna unit that has the modem inside. So okay. you put your SIM card in there. You can actually put two in okay. and switch between. But that goes outside. You have one cable that goes down to our indoor unit that creates the Wi-Fi for you. Okay. So in the kit, you get everything you need. The outdoor, the wire, the indoor unit. Just plug it in, put your SIM card in, you're good to go. Uh, plug and play, so easy. And what does something like this run for the 5G? I'm sure there's a price difference, but for the 5G system, because everyone is pretty much on 5G now, right. what does that system run? Online, the system runs right around $1,100. Okay. And our 4G system, we still do sell that. That runs $599. Okay, excellent. But a lot of people ask me, well, if I don't have 5G, do I need the 5G? What I basically tell people is that our 4G is similar to an iPhone 6 or 7. It does 4G, it can't do 5G. The 5G system is more like an iPhone 11 or 12. It can do 4G, it does it great, and it can do 5G. That's great. Okay, and where can people find these at? You find us at insticonnect.com. Excellent. All right, guys, you got to check this out. New technology, very impressive. Thanks a lot, Nick. Thank really you. Really appreciate it. Hey, guys, we are at WeBoost with Natalie. And Natalie, you guys have something that's not necessarily new, but it's new technology. What do you guys have? Absolutely. So we have our cellular signal boosters. So what we do is we capture that cell signal that's out there, send it to our boosting unit, which boosts it, and then gives you a better signal in your car, truck, SUV. Okay. So it, you have to have a signal in order to boost it, right? You can't Correct. just create your own signal. Correct. Yeah, we don't create a signal. We're just taking what's already there and we're boosting it for you. Okay. How does this apply in the overland world? Because I know overlanders like to have that communication. They like to be able to, you know, reach out and get pull information. Is it just cell signal or is it data? Can you like download, upload, all that good stuff? Yes. Yeah. Call, um, call, talk, text, data, all that is okay. going to be available on it. Anything you'd be able to get on just regular cell service is just going to boost it. Okay. And I know that a lot of people have issues with the antenna sticking up off of the racks for clearance issues. And I've heard you guys might have something cool coming out to kind of counter that, that issue. Yeah. Yeah. We have something that we're working on that is going to counteract that. Um, and it's probably coming out towards the end of the year. It's going to be pretty awesome. Sweet. And I'm thinking it's some kind of way to move it. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Yep, yeah. All right. I can't give away too much, <laughs> yeah. but it's coming. Yeah, All right. Exactly. It's going to be awesome. Excellent. Awesome. Thank you, Natalie. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. All right, guys, I'm here with Rich from Devos and you have a new light out that's brand new to the market. Now, let me, let me preface this. Last year I talked to Tough Stuff Overland and they had a very similar light, but the head on it was massive. It looks like you have been managed to get a similar output in a much more compact package. That's correct. Yeah, I wanna hear all about it. So we, in this small head right here, you have a 1200 lumen lantern. It comes with a lot of control. So you hit the button once, you get all four panels, hit it again, you're down to two, you hit it again, you're down to one. Oh, wow. Then in any of those modes, you can dim it down to 20%. So you oh, get a wow. lot of control over how much light you put out and what direction. Yeah, so you, yeah, that's perfect. So if you're only having to work on one specific thing, put that one light on but if you that's want a right. whole area light put all four on that's great exactly or if you're camping next to somebody else and you don't want they don't want light in their campsite you can right. direct it only into yours perfect now tell me about the mounting system i'm seeing the does it come with two mounting systems or just the spike it does come with two mounting systems okay so the kit comes with a, a, a light it comes with a telescoping pole it comes with a tripod base it comes with a ground stake and a carry bag and a charge cord 
Excellent. And the, the stakes, tell me about how that mounts, because that was really cool. I was watching the video about how that, how that works. So the, the stake that comes with the light is a pretty simple stake. It's, it's the black one. Mm -hmm. But we do have an upgraded stake that's a slam stake. It has the slide hammer that's yeah. built in. So yeah, I have to bring a hammer, hammer for function. You. That was yeah. like, wow. That, yeah, it's pretty cool. That took a long time for someone to innovate something so amazing. That's right. So that's really cool. And the head is rechargeable, so it's a standalone. You don't have to have a wire to it. That's correct. It's uh, USB chargeable. Okay. It also charges out. It oh, has wow. two ports, so it can charge out as if it was a, a power bank. That's perfect. And what kind of output can you expect of this? How long at full brightness? How long would that run for? So at 1,200 lumens, you get four hours. Turn two of them off, you get eight hours. Oh wow. And then leaving the one on, you get 16 hours. That's a really good, it is. you know, exactly. it's not thirsty. <laughs> so we wanted to design a, lan a lantern that had more power yep. and more longevity than most of the lanterns on the market. I specifically, myself, I like the small compact package. Yes. Because the, the halo light from, was in a box about this big and it was overwhelming. So sure. this is a really nice compact Thank package. You. Thank you. Yeah, excellent. And what's the price point on this? So normally, uh, online we're at 149 okay. for the whole kit. Excellent. Yeah. And that comes with dual stand bases. Both bases. Okay, great. Excellent. Yeah. And where can people find your guys' products at? We're at devosoutdoor.com. Excellent. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really Kelly. appreciate it. It's great meeting you. Nice to meet you. Hey guys, I'm here at the Wagon Tech booth with Alex. And Alex, you guys are mainly a technology company and I'm seeing a lot of cool products here. What do you guys offer? Yeah, so we do the full gamut of uh, power stations and power delivery devices like inverters and uh, lithium cubes and a whole lot of lighting and uh, car lifestyle products too. Excellent, I know the, the lithium power packs, the solar packs, they're not a new concept, but I look at yours and it catches my eye because they're flat on top, which yeah. is an unusual thing. I know Goal Zero has something similar, but yours looks like it could be stackable. Yeah, it's fully stackable, especially since space is such a premium in you know, what we do. Uh, we want it to be stackable, put your equipment on it, put your jacket or your bags on top of it, no problem. So the Lithium Cube actually offers multi uh, charging options. So you can actually charge by your car, your home, uh, but also by solar, of course. We actually choose to make the ports uh, universal so that if you have access to any sort of Anderson cables, okay. uh, you can charge your you know, solar panel or charge from your solar panel right into there. We believe in open source. So either you buy our amazing panels or you buy from anyone off the market. It's your choice. Um, and this is going to be the Anderson power pole connection, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Now for the solar panels, do they have to be, uh, what do you call it? Um, Controlled? Controlled or uncontrolled? Yeah, so they can be completely uncontrolled. There's an MPPT charger inside. Oh, awesome. Yep, and so you don't have to think about any of the charging options or charging needs. Just plug in your solar panel, 100 watts, 160 watts, uh, whatever is excess uh, will go ahead and wash off. So all the power management's already built in. Uh, really plug and play for a lot of people. That's great, a great option for new Overlanders getting out there with their yep. fridge and any pow yeah. power. This is gonna, how many days would you get? Just average, yeah. you've got a fridge, it's full, you're out there in the desert. How many days do you think you're gonna get out of this? Yeah, so our friend, uh, she's been running her fridge for the past four days uh, and it's only down to 30%. Uh, if you're out in the desert, super hot heat, like 95 degrees, uh, if you're just doing beer cold, you could probably get four or five days too. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now what else you guys offer? I know you're having a new launch just for Expo. Yeah. Let's see this, cause you know I like, little goodies yeah so we are big light nerds in you know what we do Aren't we all big light nerds <laughs> <laughs> you can never have enough lights yes. right so we actually improved on our new camp light series uh, originally it was a lantern but now we added a flashlight to it so uh, press it once press twice and you get a nice flashlight on there oh nice additionally of course you get a magnet base hooks and the usb cord is always built in so you're not hunting for usb cords that's so convenient. Yep. 
So what we do when we get to camp, we'll set these out either for our cook surface or we'll actually use it as basically our setup lights at night. That's um, so cool. Yeah, even on our rooftop tent, we'll just hang it on, hang it up on the, the awning and we're good to go. That's so great. Yeah. All right, now what's the price point on the 1200 and this guy here? Yeah, so 1200, uh, 1200 watt hours on the lithium cube uh, is $1,100 retail. Of course, we're running a show special. Uh, hit us up for that. We have a code P32, get you 20% off. Uh, and then also the new camp light uh, duo. Uh, that one will be uh, 34, actually no, 39.95, also 20% off uh, during the show. Awesome. And where can people find all your awesome products at? So you can find it on wagon.com, W-A-G-A-N.com, or any of the major retailers, um, anywhere from Amazon to Best Buy, uh, even Tractor Supply as well. Oh, excellent. Yeah. All right. Well, Alex, thank you so much. I appreciate your time okay. and your products are amazing. And you guys got to be sure to check them out. And I'll put that discount code below, so be sure to check that out. Great. Thank Thanks you, a lot, Kelly. Alex. Thanks, Kelly. Appreciate it. Thanks. Hi, my name's Carrie Lando. I'm a Rebel Rally competitor. Uh, my vehicle uh, is the Mountain Subi MTN SUBI. I competed last year as a rookie in the uh, rally. Um, it's a point to point. Um, navigational competition uh, over 2,500 kilometers and it happens to be for women only um, and we compete in the deserts of uh, Southern California and Nevada. Um, some of my favorite products from Wagon Tech um, is this uh, light. It's a duo light. Uh, it has a spotlight, a floodlight. You can use both the spot and the flood together and it dims so that you can um, not blind yourself when you're around camp at night. Um, one of the other things I really love is uh, this wayfinder light. So when I'm looking under my vehicle to see, um, just to double check on how my components are doing on the rally, or when I'm out adventuring and doing overlanding um, trips. Um, so this is magnetic. It hooks onto anything magnetic, and I can point the uh, the beam anywhere I want um, to take a look at things while I'm working on things. Um, it also has this great uh, diffuse light that's um, a nice soft uh, white light and then a, a great red light for nighttime vision and uh, not attracting the bugs at night. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. The Overland Technology here at Expo West in Flagstaff, Arizona 2022 has really taken off. I'm really excited to see what the future brings. All right, guys, if you liked it, hit that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Helps the channel grow. Follow us on IG, adventurebell underscore, and I'll see you guys next time.